You know, every season and every part of every season is going to bring bring something new out. Heraclitus said you can't step into the same river twice. So it's always a new experience, a new perspective to, to continue to develop and grow my relationship with these different materials. So it's a German word, uh, Wunderkammer, meaning uh, cabinet of curiosity. Historical wonder camera is like a proto museum. So it's just sort of whatever kind of piques your interest, uh, sort of taking those objects of beauty in from the world, uh, reformulating, recontextualizing them, uh, putting them on display uh, in a way that makes sense to you. And that's kind of what uh, my goal is with wonder camera. Marrying my different interests in art, because I'm a former art student and artist, as well as uh, the foraging aspect and uh, doing what I know how to do best, which is brewing beer. Different um, ideas from, from nature and anthropology and all those other kinds of art uh, and bring them into, bring them into my brewing practice and, and create uh, unique and, and uh, beautiful beers that, that you can sort of hold on to and keep. I've been foraging for for mushrooms and other you know wild ingredients for a, a decade or more. Would it be all right if we uh, if we dipped into the woods over there? My main goal was to gather materials for a, a new series of beers, an occasional series of beers I'm going to be making called Gathered. Um, and the idea of these these beers is to really encapsulate or create a sort of snapshot. Uh, of a specific time and, and place, like I try to do with a lot of my beers, but this is all ingredients that are harvested on a single day, so everything's gonna impact that, what the weather's been like the previous week or month, whatever the status is of those materials as they're growing on that day, uh, and then they're harvested, and then they're gonna be presented in this beer. Um, some of them are things I have a lot of experience using, uh, some of them not so much, some of them I've never used in beer before. It's definitely keeping alive that, that spirit of experimentation. One of the things that I really like about specifically doing mixed fermentation beers is um, the types of descriptors and different aspects of, of uh, how you understand and comprehend the beer are often more drawn on places and memories that it really, for me, brings me into my f experiences for uh, foraging for these materials out in the wild. So, I mean, when I, when I drink that beer, it literally brings me back uh, uh, into those to those places and times that I've, I've spent out there and um, and that's what I get really excited about when when people drink that beer and they feel connected to those places and experiences.